We're taking action for you all day today on 7, and this time we're helping a homeowner in Northville who says she handed over money to a long cutting company and they never did the work and they refused to issue her a refund. 7's Taking Action reporter Amira David is on the hunt to get that woman's cash back in her hands. Amira, what can you tell us? Well, Dave, nobody wants to be that homeowner, right, whose front yard grows a little too high. Unfortunately, that was the case for this woman who says she was waiting and waiting for a company that just never came. After a knee replacement surgery, Patty Stirring thought a lawn cutting service sounded like a good idea. My neighbor uh, said that she called a company and if we signed up together, then we would get a discounted rate. So last year, the Northville homeowner signed up for a six month package through Greenkeepers Lawn and Landscape at a mega discount of $216. But what started as a good deal, she says turned into a bad one real quick. I waited for him to come, waited, waited, waited. Two months after signing up, the grass had grown tall, but the lawn service, she says, was a no-show. After several phone calls, she says she learned her home wasn't even on the company's schedule. And they said, well, you must have fallen through the cracks. And that it wouldn't be possible to fit her in. So immediately, she asked for a refund. They'll give you excuses, but they never send the money. Ultimately, Stirring took the matter to a judge, which awarded her a total of $548 for her troubles. Money that, over a year later, she has not been able to collect. It just annoys me that there are businesses out there that get away with this kind of thing. Mm -hmm and they're not accountable. So I got on the case to take action. It turns out the BBB evaluates the company at an F rating. By phone, company management told me this case was all a big misunderstanding and said they would repay the money immediately. But ultimately, that promised check never came through. And we gave Greenkeeper several weeks to make this right. Of course, as you saw, they chose not to. So I'm going to stay on top of this case. But coming up at 6 p.m., I'm going to be taking action for a Monroe family that's been dealing with a water drainage nightmare. That's ahead at 6. In the meantime, if you have an issue you want me to look into, I want to hear from you. Send me an email, tips at WXYZ.com. For now, reporting live in Northville, Amira David, 7 Action News. All right, Amira, thank you so much. We know you're on top of it.